Thank you very much, and thank you to all the organizers for bringing us together. And uh, I was asked to say a few words about the commission, uh, the Pontifical Commission for the uh, Protection of Minors that was established by Pope Francis to to advise him on the protection of minors and vulnerable adults, to help him in listening and responding to victims and survivors, and also to promote local responsibility in our local churches and supporting their safeguarding efforts. And uh, we have, uh, we're not involved in individual cases, but trying to promote best practices and to help the leadership in the church to have a more profound understanding of the uh, challenges of responding to the terrible crime of sexual abuse, not only in our church, but also uh, in the world. And we know that during this time of pandemic, the children are more vulnerable than ever. In many families, there's great stresses. People have lost their jobs. Uh, children are not able to go to school. Uh, People are drinking much more, and there are not the normal ways that uh, children are in contact uh, with people who can help them in situations uh, of abuse. Uh, in our archdiocese, we train about 100,000 children a year under normal circumstances. Uh, but of course, during the pandemic, uh, that is not uh, possible. But as you have mentioned, the pandemic has uh, opened up uh, uh, new vistas for us in the use of the social media as a way to uh, be in touch with people throughout the world. And the commission uh, is meeting about every six weeks and we have been involved in uh, so many different uh, uh, seminars and, uh, and meetings with representatives of various uh, uh, bishops conferences and and doing conferences on some of the canonical issues that uh, uh, affect uh, child abuse and uh, we're very very grateful for all of the support that the Holy Father has given uh, to the mission and since uh, the founding of the uh, the commission uh, we have uh, had wonderful participation from very active members from all over the world. And I always tell the Holy Father, I don't think there's another commission uh, in the Holy See where a group of volunteers, uh, uh, particularly lay people, are so engaged uh, uh, every week in, in the work of the church to promote uh, uh, child protection uh, in, in our world. And uh, just over these uh, past few weeks and during the pandemic, uh, we have launched an ongoing series of webinars reaching thousands of people in countries around the world, uh, working together with the International Union of uh, Superiors General. And in these past few weeks, I was able to meet online with the bishops uh, from Brazil and France. And we have placed a priority on developing our new web website and digital platform, which has been uh, a great help to us. It's been launched in English in February, and now we're uh, poised to bring it out in Italian and Spanish uh, uh, within a month or so. It's been a very important tool to help identify strengths and weaknesses in global safeguarding efforts. And uh, the site has revealed that the peak interest has been for the spiritual and pastoral assistance to victims and survivors of abuse. And through the website offering resources to all. It's creating a, a hub in an online community to promote sharing of safeguarding information, knowledges, and events. And uh, we are also poised to, to have a meeting in Eastern Europe with the, uh, in conjunction with the uh, bishops of Poland and other Eastern European countries. Uh, there's also a, a plan for another uh, seminar with experts on on canon law uh, concerning the rights of, of victims. Uh, so the the work of the uh, the commission goes on during the pandemic, and in many ways uh, has been enhanced by the use of social media. And I'm so grateful to 
all of our members who are so engaged uh, in the wonderful work of Safeguard.